More than 50 years ago, on March 28, 1968, over 1,200 community members came together in front of the Los Angeles Board of Education to support the students that walked out in protest as they presented their demands. This was a culmination of months of planning and organizing. More importantly, these demands were about setting a higher standard for the education of Chicanx and Latinx people in the United States. It was a political statement about what equitable treatment is. It was about starting a movement, and they did. Before we talk about the walkouts, it is important to understand the social and political climate at the time. The late 1960s were the peak of the civil rights movement, a movement which in itself is the result of other movements. One in which leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Cesar Chavez, and others helped organize oppressed populations in the United States. This time period is often regarded as the start of the Chicano movement. During this time period, schools were no longer officially segregated, but Chicano students still faced discrimination in schools and the education system was failing them. Graduation rates were extremely low at high schools where the majority of students were Mexican descendants and most of the administrators and teachers at these schools were white. Students would be punished for speaking Spanish in class and were often regarded as inferior for being Mexican descendant. By the 1960s, however, a heightened awareness of the connections between poverty, racism, and discrimination combined with the civil rights movement and the anti-war, anti-imperialist struggles of that period challenged this institutional imaginary. The combination of these factors led students to walk out. The walkouts took over six months to plan. There was no Facebook, Twitter, or texting at the time. It was all done through word of mouth. The walkouts were not supposed to happen until March 6, 1968, but they began on March 1st, when students at Wilson High School walked out. This did not disorganize a plan for the other schools, and on March 6, students began walking out. Over the next weeks after that, an estimated 15,000 students walked out of classes from Woodrow Wilson, Garfield, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, Belmont, Venice, and Jefferson High Schools. Despite peacefully protesting, the students participating in these walkouts were met by violence from the schools, police, and in some cases, their parents. This, however, did not stop them from continuing to protest and they were supported by members of the community. Over the next few weeks, walkouts and protests would continue, and eventually, the community would come together to issue demands to the Los Angeles Board of Education. On March 28th, the students issued demands to the Board of Education. They demanded better academics, administration, facilities, and students' rights. Students demanded a curriculum that is bilingual, bicultural, and relevant to their background. They demanded that teachers and administrators be kept accountable if they acted in a prejudiced manner. They demanded facilities that were modern and safe. They demanded that their right to education be respected. The demands ended up being rejected by the Board of Education. However, it was never really about implementing the demands. The demands issued by the students were a political statement and a method of organizing and uniting a community that had been oppressed for decades. The demands were about actively setting the bar higher for the education of Chicanx and Latinx students. More importantly, the demands were about giving power to a community since these students were no longer asking for a better education, but instead were actively seeking it out. These events showed Chicano students the power that they could have if they organized. Since then, Chicano students have used this method as a form of resistance all throughout the country. The walkout started a wave that gave power and a voice to students and paved the road to better serving the educational rights of not only Chicano students, but also many other populations.